This tutorial will teach you how to fake a black eye with makeup. As with all bruises, black eyes will look different on everyone. Many factors such as skin tone, age, and nature of the injury are going to affect their appearance. So keep that in mind when you're applying your black eyes. I began this one with a primer. This step increases the longevity of the creamy makeup that I'll be using, and it's just a crucial step if you want your makeup to last a long time. I chose to use Ben Nye's Master Bruise Wheel for this tutorial. You can also use alcohol activated paints or even face paints. Um, these probably would last a little bit longer, but my eyes are extremely sensitive, so alcohol always triggers my eyes to water and burn, so this is a no-no for me. I stippled on a warm violet shade, and I did keep this pretty transparent so I could build the black eye up. Bruises look more realistic when you're applying them in layers. Next I used a pencil brush and applied the dark purple from the wheel. I focused this color where I wanted the most depth in order to create the illusion of a swollen eye. I also added this color to the upper eye to mimic the shape of the eye socket. When bruises, you know, black eyes happen, usually the blood will pool around the eye socket or the bone, you know, where your eyeball is. And um, that's why I did that to mimic kind of this shape of the eye. For more color, I added the red in various areas around the eye. This breaks up the dark purple and gives it a little more dimension. With the green and yellow, I added more color to simulate a bruise as it heals. I do have a more in-depth tutorial on bruises and their healing process. If you'd like to see that, I'll have the links at the end of this video and also in the info box below. I lost some depth when I added the colors and blended, so I'm going to add some more dark purple under the eye and on the inner corner. To set the shiner, I lightly dusted my face powder over the entire area. You could use transparent powder, you could use your own face powder, um, pretty much any powder is going to work for you. To further trick the eye, trompe l'oeil, I deepened the purple again. I really wanted that swollen eye bag to pop, I didn't want to have to add a prosthetic, but you know, you can really trick the eye if you use light and dark colors. You could be Vermeer of the black eyes. On the inner waterline, I added a little bit of red to give it that irritated look, makes the eye look even angrier. The final touch is to add a little sheen to the area. Black eyes are called shiners because the area is swollen, and usually when skin is swollen it appears kind of shiny because it's stretched out. So I dabbed a little bit of transparent jelly from Krylon all over my eye. That wraps this one up guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a little thumbs. There's a thumbs up button at the bottom left hand corner of this video. I really appreciate it. And you can also join me on Facebook and Twitter for more makeup fun times. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. Take care and bye.